Hello, everybody, and welcome to our lesson about the first unit of inquiry, who we are. The first unit follows the theme, who we are, which is an inquiry into the nature of the self, beliefs and values, personal, physical, mental, social and spiritual health. We will look into human relationships, including families, friends, communities, and cultures. The lines of inquiry for this unit are, how do relationships form and develop? Similarities and differences among people, and the last one, the role and responsibility to maintain healthy relationships. We will start the unit by asking ourselves, what is the meaning of a relationship? Look at this picture. Do you see these kids? Can you think of a relationship that joins them together? Take a look at this picture. What do you think the relationship between these people is? Is there a relationship between them? We will also think about the types of relationships we have. We will also learn about healthy relationships and unhealthy relationships. Look at these pictures. Can you tell me if you see any differences between them? Think about healthy and unhealthy relationships. We will also look at similarities and differences in objects. Let's take a look at the picture on the left. Do you see these elephants? The elephants look the same. While on the right side of the screen, we see a kite and a strawberry and they are different. Then we will look for similarities and differences among people. Look at this picture. Can you look for a similarity between these people? How about something that looks different in all of them? Think about that. As for the approaches to learning we will be focusing on in this unit, we will be working on students' communication skills, like exchanging information, listening actively, and understanding the ways in which images and languages interact to convey ideas and expressing oneself using words and sentences. As for the social skills, we will be working on the interpersonal relationships, practice empathy and care, listen closely, social and emotional intelligence, and to be self and socially aware. At the end of the unit, we will make our unit project. You will draw your anti-bullying logo or poster on cardboard as a campaign to spread awareness around the school on how to manage various relationships, conflicts, and perspectives. Or you can make a scene with your colleagues about bullying and act it out. Here are some examples about the logos, anti-bullying logos or posters you can make at the end of the unit. Okay, boys and girls, have a good day and see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye for now.